Hello everyone, welcome to Manari TV. This really looks nice. This is rubbish. Everything here is rubbish. I don't get it. Well, I can as well take all this rubbish home with me. Clara, you don't understand my predicament here, do you? That you cannot make up your mind on what to wear to go meet the prince? <laughs> sure, it is such an unfortunate predicament. And I really do feel your pain. I don't appreciate sarcasm, but yes, it's a predicament. First impression matters. He's not just an ordinary prince. He's a prince that has lived most of his years in the Western world. He has seen sophisticated women and lifestyle. I need to impress him. Don't you get it? I need to impress him. But everything here can easily impress any man, be he from the Mars, the Moon, or the Western world. You have always been a sophisticated lady. Babe, everybody knows that. So please do not let this prince guy get you all worked up. Clara, you don't Clara. get it. Clara, you don't... I hope she has some good news. Yes. That took forever. Alright. I'll look at them before you get here. I suppose that's your personal shopper. Yes. She sent me some pictures of the dresses she's coming with. Oh gosh. You're just a spoiled brat. Whatever. Huh. What are these? Excuse me, mommy. Excuse you? Excuse you? How dare you beg my pardon? Are you a fool? Are you foolish? Are you stupid? I made it clear today. I made it clear that I want the best of my cars for my convoy. I didn't tell me you need the bus. You are very stupid. Now go and do the need to you need it.
We are let's go now. Eh? Go where? Hey, hey. I've changed my mind. I'm not going anywhere again today. What happened? Our prince just arrived. He? I'm telling you. If you see cars, if you see people, if you see cars. Ha. Hey! I even heard that on Unuju, our billionaire's daughter. You know her now? Hey, I know her. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. She welcomed him. He? I'm telling you. He? Hey! Is that why you're angry? Am I angry? Yes, I'm yes. happy for our prince. Uh, go oh, where? Come, go like this. No, I need to go and change. I need to look good because that party, that welcome party is not a small party. It's a very big event. Come, In fact, I need to look... Me, I would love to be there, Steph. I want to see things with Mark. What was that rubbish about? Exactly what you were supposed to do that you did not do. <sighs> did it ever occur to you that you should have informed or at least given me even the slightest clue that you were going to invite that girl to this? Occasion. Oh. It escaped my memory, actually. Forget this youthful appearance. Your wife is getting old. So don't blame me. Blame this old woman's failing memory. I'm not going to stand here and pander to those your games. Go back there. Bring that girl out. Let her leave this palace. That party is meant for private people. Are you serious? She's going to get married to the prince. And that makes her part of this, your so-called private thing. Well, I want to tell you that your marriage will work only in your dream. And I want to tell you, my dear husband, that that's my dream will become reality. Come back to the party. Come back. Hey. Get to have a private time. Busy day, huh? <laughs> hmm. This feels very comfortable. Have you tried lying on this bed yet? Not really. I know, right? You must be tired from the long haul flight. I wonder why they forced you to party with those old men after such a long trip. Well, I will be fine when I take my shower. Oh, fine. Go on. <laughs> I'll wait. I'm a very patient person. That is one of my good qualities that you will appreciate over time. <laughs> You're still here? Oh, you want me to help you clean up? Not really. What I need is some privacy, if you don't mind. Oh, sure. My prince. I see that you're a very shy person. So I'll give you some time to clean up and uh, get dressed. <laughs> I've waited. Thank you. <laughs> I'll be outside. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> 
What? What? What is it? Baby, calm down. I am supposed to be the one upset here and not you. You think? I was in a very important meeting and your call just disrupted it. I guess your meeting is more important than the one we are supposed to be having in an, another five minutes. We're supposed to be having a meeting? Come on, baby. Don't tell me you forgot. We scheduled to have lunch with mom today. And I'm here to pick you up and I was only told that you went out. Um, you, you can't we really reschedule, I mean, we can have lunch with your mom some other time. Come on, darling. She went through a lot putting this together. It will only be unfair to cancel it. Just tell me where you are. I will come and pick you up. Hello? 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 I can hear you very clear. Where are you? I can't hear you. Hello? 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 Oh, uh, All washed up. Oh yes, mother. Though I still feel some pain from long hours of staying in a flight. I know. I can understand. I can understand. I think, um, Anonuju, we'll come in here and show you what she can do with her magical fingers. How? I didn't know she's a massage therapist. Oh, she is everything you want her to be. She's a woman. My woman? Mm -hmm. She's the woman you're about to marry. She's your lover. You're everything. Mm? <laughs> what I heard it there. I thought you were joking. I don't joke. I don't get you. Someone I'm meeting for the first time? Someone I practically know nothing about. Who does that in this age and time? Ujungwa! Ujungwa! Ujungwa, stop this now! Nana, what is it? Why are you making my life difficult? Am I? Are you? Really? Nana, you're embarrassing me. People are watching. Don't you know who I am? You want to feed those hungry bloggers some content, right? Junwa, three years. Three years of what I thought was a wonderful relationship. This is how you choose to end it? Is this what I deserve? Nana, don't... Don't... Don't be dramatic. I am not breaking up with you. I'm only asking for a break. A break from me? As if this is not a subtle way of breaking up. Jumwa, come on. What have I done wrong? I thought we were perfect together. You even said so yourself. Nana. 
I love you. Oh, please don't patronize me. I'm not patronizing you. I love you and you know it. I'm only asking for some time to clear my head, to sort things out. And I need you to respect that. So what am I supposed to do? Wait indefinitely for you to sort yourself out and come back? Well, I'm not in the right position to tell you what to do. I only have control over what I want to do. And that, my sweetheart, I do not owe you explanation of. Have a nice day. Anyone would react the same way. I didn't take an oath to be with him for life, did I? I can't believe you're talking about Nana in this manner. You used to be crazily in love with him. Who says that has changed? <laughs> Come on, Clara, don't be dumb. You're my friend. I expect you to know better. Huh? Oh, I didn't realize this is about me now. Listen, I love Anana. But come on, girlfriend. We're talking about my future here. You cannot compare anyone to a Stanford University trained prince. Come on. This is my future we're talking about here. Think about it. Anana might not be a prince. Nor did he study in Stanford University. But he's equally well educated. And he's a successful CEO. What's more? Look, you both have gone a long way. What do you even know about this Prince Uzodima? How are you sure this marriage is going to work between both of you? You want to throw away something you're sure of for something you're not even sure of. And you think I don't know that already? Girlfriend, I am not a fool. I know what I'm doing. That's why I didn't break up with Nana. I only asked for space to sort myself out. Yes, space for you to get married to another man. Come on, Uju. And you think you wouldn't find out? You, you know what? En enough, enough. I've had enough of this conversation. It's either you're with my huh. decision or you're not. Please, I've had enough. It's fine. You can do whatever you choose to do. I don't care. Thank you. Now, can we plan about my big day that is coming very soon? Why is Nana calling me? Please, you should stop calling me. Each part, you should lose my number today. Mm -hmm. Look at the prince that I've been trying to call. He's not taking my calls and he's not calling me back either. Would you just calm down? You have forever to spend with him. So why don't you just enjoy this moment? Wait, 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 wait. Calm down now. He's busy. Busy doing what? He's supposed to call to check on me. At least take my call if he can't call. What is this? Since Would morning he has not called. Would you? This is the same person you will spend the rest of your life with. So why don't you just enjoy this moment? Enjoy it. I am so sure him and his people are getting ready. So just calm down. They'll be here soon. Okay, mom, mom, mom. 
What is going on? Are they here? Just excuse us for a moment, please. Are they here? Excuse us for a moment. Oh, leave. Go, 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 go. Leave it and go. Come back. Oh, you mean? Just, just, just a minute, please. Thank you. Excuse me. What's, what's happening? I'm worried. I'm anxious. Are they here? What's going on? Prince Uzodema is not picking his phone. I called the queen, but she said she couldn't talk. That she would call me back. Did you manage to speak with him? Not at all. I've tried severally to reach him. He's not taking his call. He's not calling me back. I don't know what is going on, mother. I don't know. <sighs> Let's not be what I'm thinking. I mean, he cannot abandon me today, mother. He, not today. No, 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 no. Lolo knows better than to allow that to happen. He does not. Besides, we had everything sorted out. Did we not? <sighs> mother. Prince Uzodema had his doubts about me and this marriage. He was practically forced into it. Let it not be that he ran away at the last minute. Mom, look at it. Maybe he played along all this while. Only Will you to run shut up. up? Will you shut up and allow me to think for a moment? Mom, please don't shut me up. I know what I'm saying. The shame. The shame. What would people say? I said, shut up! Shut up! I remember. I remember. Hello? Are they here? What happened? What, what, what did they tell you? Talk to me, mother. What is it? What is going on? Our people said that the blacksmith who does not know how to forge a metagong should look at the tail of a kite. What have we not done right? Rumor making rounds suggests that Stacey and his royal household are planning to have Prince Uzodema marry Chief Douglas Onyebuchi's daughter. The day the prince arrived and Lola said something in that line, we all thought she was joking. If you all have forgotten tradition, I haven't. Prince Uzodema was betrothed to Osita Dema's daughter the day he was born. Where is Osita Dema today? Well, I wouldn't know his whereabout. The last time I checked, his house collapsed. And he was unable to either put a roof over his head or get help from anyone to do that. <laughs> Is there anything to tell Is she a roof now? Let us know it's our time to discuss about what's that demand. A commoner. A dismissed school principal who could not fend for his family cannot be associated with royalty. And have you forgotten that our tradition is not class conscious? If it were class conscious, someone like you wouldn't be sitting here. Is that an insult or what? Take it is as that well. an insult? Take it as well if you, if, if you like. Uh, all right. Ah, all right. Then. What's all this? All right. Then. I'm from She. I'm from we cannot wait for a man who we do not know is whereabouts. 
whether he is alive or whether he is dead. We cannot wait for his return before the prince takes a bride. Eh? Remember that we are talking about the prince of the land here. The heir apparent and the only son of royalty. He is supposed to take a bride, take a wife and get offspring that will be in the interest of this kingdom. Are you forgetting? When did we lose our sense of communal coexistence? When did we stop being our brother's keeper? Ezogo, if we do not know where our brother and his family are, is it not in your place to send a mistress to go in search of them? Exactly. Is it not? What are we talking here? I have heard you. I say I have heard you. I will make a move and we shall look for Osita Dimma and his family. Elders, have I spoken well? <laughs> See, I am glad there are still sane people among the council members. Hmm? But Ezogo must not allow desperation to get the better of him. What desperation? What desperation? The prince is still very young. Even if it takes 10 years to find Osita Dema and his household, he will still be young enough to produce offspring for the royal family. Look at it. Let's go, Abeg. Let's go. You see, this, this, these are things we talk about and people will listen. My fellow elders, I don't understand why Ezugo will let Afa Mifuna detect how we run the affairs of this kingdom. <laughs> He's simply drawing back the hand of the clock for us. Do not be fooled. Ezugo is trying to be diplomatic. You understand me? Diplomatic at whose expense? Oh. His own. <laughs> Shame on him. Mm. Look, let me tell you. Amongst three of us, it's only Alpha Mefuna who is on the right track. I think the best thing is that the church in Maroke. It is high time you decide on whose part you want to be on. I stop being a chameleon. Ah. Me, chameleon. I can't understand you. Let us let us say because of looking for Sidadima, and that's all. Our kingdom is beautiful, beautiful, but evil people want to destroy it. Mr. Bear. Who Mr. is our family fool? That you, Ezugo, would conform to his lousy suggestions. Osita Dima and his stupid family must have died in that evil forest, and their corpses eaten by vultures. It's possible. It is possible, but I ask you again, why do you so desperately want this marriage between Olomoju and our son? Who wouldn't want to be associated with affluence? Affluence? At the expense of our tradition. A tradition made by man that can be changed by man. <laughs> simple as make it sound. Neither is it as difficult as you're making it sound. Yes. Hola. These are your people. These are your people. If they so desperately want to shop off, marry off their daughter to any man, let them go ahead and find a man, but leave my son out of it. Hmm. Izuko, don't try to mess with me. See this woman here? She's capable of doing anything. I have the powers to push anybody around, even you, and you know it. I 
I am no longer going to do your bidding, Samuel. I am no longer going to do your bidding, Samuel. And any more pressure from you, I will tell our son. One word from you to our son. And I will tell the whole world how you got on the throne in the first place. Don't push me. Is that what it is called? Do not worry yourself, okay? I will fix it. Alright? I said I will fix it. Am I not the one that called you? Oh. Yeah, you are. Um, let me call you back. Chatting away. Mother. Is everything okay? Aren't you forgetting something? No. I don't think so. Like a date with Don Onuju, perhaps? No. That? Yes. That. Son, why are you not taking her seriously? Mother, you already know my standard base. I made it known from day one. I don't mean to be disrespectful, but this whole matchmaking concept does not work for me. I am an adult. I should be allowed to find a woman, fall in love with her, and make her my wife. Oh yes, Assuming my whole heart is in this, you wouldn't be the one to tell me about a supposed date with my woman, would you? Come with me, son. Son. This tradition has been in existence even before your forefathers were born. So it is not matchmaking like you called it. Moreover, Ononujuako is a great lady from a wonderful background. She is everything you need in a woman. Mm -hmm. How do you know? what I need in a woman. You call me mom, yet? If you asked me such a question, if I don't know my son, who will? On this occasion, you're wrong. She might be everything, but she's not my kind. How? When you have not given her a chance? Why judge a book by its cover? It's not my fault if a book possesses questionable threats from the outside. Is that transparent? I can see that from a distance. What questionable traits are you talking about here? Mother, never mind. Because even if I tell you, you will not see them. But just know that she is not my type. And as your mother, I am telling you that your judgment is beclouded by what you think of the tradition. Why don't you give her a chance? Try and bond with her. Get close to her. And I promise you, you won't regret it. You will like her. Promise me you'll do that for me. I can't promise. No, no, no. You have to promise me here and now. Promise me. Okay. Can I at least think about it? 
you're thinking about it should start by a launch date. So why don't you take your handsome self inside, get ready for that date? Mother, has anyone told you that you're a pain? Yes. Your father tell me that every time. So I'll, I'm used to it. <laughs> Excuse me. Alison, remember, do not keep a lady waiting on the first date, okay? And um, remember, don't go there with the mindset. Go with an open mind. Somebody, somebody, hi. Somebody, somebody. Ready? Almost. Okay. Can someone please get the door? Oh yes. Someone would definitely get the door. Maybe the press. Yes. What are you doing here? I didn't think you should have called me before coming to my house. So if you've been picking my calls for the past few days. So? And as the young man that I presumed you to be, should I not tell you that she doesn't want to later talk to you and see you? Good afternoon. You bring chaos to my house. And then you wish me a good afternoon. I bring chaos? With all due respect, Ma, I... I am in no need of your respect. Please. Mom, Mom, please. I, I can handle this. Please. If you handled it well, he wouldn't have been here by this time of all times. Do what is happening now? I'm lost. Leave before my guest arrives. Do what is going on? What do you mean, what is going on? I asked you to give me some time, didn't I? I expected you to respect that. But no, here you are, embarrassing me. Embarrassing you? Oh, yes, you are. Would you, I am embarrassing you. Don't you think I need explanation at least? She owe you no explanation. Please, leave before my guest arrives. Do you want me to please my dogs on you? Uh, uh, Mom, like I said, I have this under my control. Please, let me handle it. I said leave! Please, let's find yourself and leave, please! Get out! Listen, Mom, I don't appreciate your interference. I don't. I could have handled this better. Are you out of your mind? Eh? What if the priest walks in on him? How do you explain that? How do you? to freshen up. Now I'm ready to go make you happy. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. What's that look on your face? Well, son, I understand and appreciate your simplicity. But that only works abroad. You're home now. You should dress to reflect who you are. Mother, I understand that, but uh, I'm only going out for a lunch date, not an official function. With a very important lady, not just anyone. Come with me. Sir. No, mother. No, 
I can't deal with this. I can't. What can't you deal with? I only wanted to make you look your No. Name. You are trying to make me be someone else. First, you said I must go out on a date with this girl and possibly marry her. I agreed. Now, I can't even choose what to wear. My darling son. Um, hmm? Who's on my No, no, mother. This will not work. This will not work. I, I can't deal with this. This will not work with me. If I must go out on this date, then I have to go the way I'm dressed. Else, you cancel the date. Oh, no, no, no. You are fine. This is wonderful. It's great. Damn it. It shouldn't be a problem. Eh? No, no, no. You can go like this. After all, the girl knows you already. She knows who you are. She's even in love with you. So, you can go like this. Yes, go, go. Yeah. Yeah. I can see you're settling in well. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. I guess he's uh, actually getting used to things around. Huh? With the right people around him, he would settle in better. <laughs> Son. Sorry. Uh, do you want to sit with uh, Ichi and I? I'm sure that is something of interest. Huh? Like me too. As a matter of fact, uh, he would have loved to stay with you. He would want him. He has to go now. Yes. Uh, so, you know, you're running late already. And it is not good for you to keep a lady waiting. Son, are you going out? Yes, father. Mother insisted that I should go on a lunch date with Chief Douglas's daughter. That daughter of his actually has a name. And um, I would advise you to start calling her by her name so that you can see. Yes, excuse him. Sweet, so, come on. That I guess I'll see you. Right. Yes, uh, let me see him to the car. The third union was suspended pending when the settlement got its own. Man hangs around our gate more often. He has been all over the palace, my friends. When I say all over, I mean all over. As you see him here, don't be surprised I get into your destination unless you find him here. I do not understand what you mean by that. My prince, he's a very fast mover. We even call him the flying feet. Nobody knows where he comes from, but he has been around for a very long time. What do you mean? 
Let me handle him. Oh! Is this not the young man we've been waiting for all afternoon? Good afternoon, ma'am. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry for being late. I apologize. It was beyond my control. No, 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 no. It's okay. Don't worry. What's the problem? Please come and sit. Oh. Hi. Hi. This is for you. Ah. Western style. Mm -hmm. I like it. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, please sit. Thank you, ma'am. Um, you're welcome. Thank you, ma'am. Well, you, you need no introduction. But allow me to introduce myself. Call me Lady Catherine. The mother of this beautiful lady here. Nice to meet you, ma. The pleasure is all mine. But like I said, Lady Catherine, not ma. <laughs> okay. You look good. Thank you. And you too. Thank you. The table is set for lunch. Okay. Please join us. Of course, you can have her all to yourself. I don't mind. I'm sorry, Ma, if I sound rude. Not at all. You're not sounding rude. As a matter of fact, you're supposed to have a private time together. Feel free, please. Thank you. <sighs> Shall we? Thanks again. You are. What is wrong with two young people having a hamlet sludge? And I was the last to know about it. Isogo, please. Already you have your hands full with matters of this kingdom as the king. You don't expect me to bother you with frivolities. It's as far as you're concerned, it's, it's normal for you that I shouldn't know what you do with our son, the prince, and that lady. And you know that the elders in council have something to say about the situation. I'm not part of your plans with your lousy elders. Their own should not interrupt mine. Do your thing, please. Let me do my thing. Unfortunately for you, you are not at liberty to do whatever you think you want to do with the prince. He belongs to the kingdom. I carried him in my womb for nine months. I gave birth to him. I suckled him. I nurtured him. Let us see how far the elders will go in this battle. Excuse me. Let's all go is to descend to go against his words. Are you calling me a liar? I wouldn't dare. But given on the side you were on at our last meeting, I am surprised you are telling me about what you supposedly saw at the palace. Afa, I don't belong to any group. What I crave for is for the progress of this kingdom and nothing more. Indeed. It's obvious that Lolo is pushing for Uzo Dima and Douglas' daughter's marriage. That is not news to me, Ichi. We were all there on the prince's arrival when she introduced the lady as his betrothed. <coughs> How are you not? Now, Lolo is arranged for a lunch date between two of them. Ezugu became helpless when he heard of the date. I could let you go on and on each year. Honestly, I am getting irritated. What exactly do you want me to do from this piece of information that you have brought me? Look, I thought I should relate to an elder 
and a chill like me. I never knew I was wasting my time. Well, I so much appreciate your efforts choosing me among the men in council to relate to. But then, nothing has changed with the plans in place to go in search of Osita the man. I, I do not see how whatever you saw had changes anything. Or does it? Hmm. I thought I was to be the better person. I never knew I was just merely wasting my precious time. I live with your frustrations. Maruke, <laughs> when it's obvious that the goals cannot be reached, don't adjust the goals. Rather, you adjust your action steps. Nonsense. Idiots! I am half a mefune. Where's that the phone number? Papa? Oh, my son, you are back. Good afternoon. Uh, what have you done to upset your friend? <laughs> you should know your father too well. I am not the other side, man. I go to the straight point. <laughs> I'm not a chameleon like that. The, how was your trip to your mother's place? Fine. Uh, I want to send her regards. I know. <laughs> anyway, sit down. Let's talk more important things. Okay, but you know what? Uh, let me drop my bag. Okay. I'll be right back. Guys, sir. Hey. Half a me from there. I did it for now. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Come inside. Come in. Hi, Hi girl. What's Hi. up? I'm fine. I was just trying to rest before you call. Oh, I'm so Ooh. sorry. Hope I didn't wake you up. No, no, no that's fine. But you're still going though. Why aren't you dressed? I thought I told you I don't work on Sundays. And who is talking about work? Have you forgotten I told you I would be taking you out today? Oh, <laughs> yes, that is right. I totally forgot, sorry. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's fine. Let me quickly take a shower then. I'll be with you shortly. Take all your time. <laughs> all right. Make yourself at home. Oh. Yeah, come in. The door is open. Oh. Well, son. Mother. Are you going out? It looks like it. Where are you going looking this person? <laughs> Thank you, mother. Well, let's just say that um, the date you organized has given birth to another date. So congratulations, mother. Are you going to see Ananuja? Do you object to that? Oh no, not at all. <laughs> as long as it is Ananuja, go ahead, I love it. Thank you, mother. <laughs> well, one persuasive woman that I love told me that I should give a lady a chance. And I'm doing my very best to do that because I love her. And I love you too, son. Thank you. Well, does the driver know that he's taking you? Uh, yes, about that. I'll be driving myself. I'll renew my license so that I'll be able to drive myself more often. Well, that's nice. Just be careful, okay? Thank you, mother. I love you. I love you, son. Mwah. Mwah. After you. <laughs> <laughs> One more. 
All right. I'm all set. Wow. You look so good. Oh, sweetie. I always look good. <laughs> I see. Okay, let's go. It seems you like taking a lot of pictures. Oh, yes. I like capturing every moment. You know, it's a lifestyle. <laughs> so good. All right. There you go. <laughs> you mean as she entered? Uh, uh, Sweetie, why don't you just go with mine? Hmm? Um, please. <laughs> this is my car. It's just um a seat out. I'll bring you back, okay? If you don't like this one, we can go with this. Yeah, I'll go with the range. I insist we go with my car, please. <sighs> okay, let me open it for you. Oh, oh, you, I, I, I should enter. Oh, yes. I will drop you back, okay? You have nothing to worry. Uh, you sure you don't mind? Oh, let me take it. We just sit at the back seat where my driver takes us. I am a gentleman. Let me take it to the car, okay? Uh, Let's go. Okay. All right. I hope the AC is working. Do not worry. The AC is working. Let's go now. Okay. I, I should sit, right? My convoy. <laughs> they are coming with us. <sighs> Do you have any problem with that? I don't think it's necessary. <sighs> well, like I said, they are coming with us. Why do you need a convoy to follow us? It's just a seat out. I'll bring you back. Hello. I am a wealthy man's daughter. Do you know what is security? My father cannot afford for anything to happen to me. Anything. And what can possibly happen to you in this kingdom? Our kingdom is a peaceful kingdom. I said I will bring you back. Moreover, going with a convoy attracts unnecessary attention to you. Sweetie. Wherever I go, my convoy goes with me. That's my father's decision, not mine. Thank you very much. Okay. Oh, 
It's not your fault. Like I said, I will talk to her and get back to you. I just have this feeling that there's another man. Come on, Nana. Don't run into conclusion. She just asked for some time, so. Exactly. Some time for what? To see another man? No. It is not always about another man. So don't burden yourself with such thoughts. She only requested for some time, so I just feel we should wait and see what happens. It's okay. I am off to Germany next week. Um, maybe that will help me get her off my mind. Hopefully by the time I return, she might be ready to talk or something. I hope so too. And make sure you enjoy your trip. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You want me to take you home? No. No, I have to be someone with my brother. So, you'll be here in a moment. It's very noisy here, can't you see? Let's find a place that is very convenient and calm. Okay. Where do you have in mind? Well, I'm not familiar with the hangar sports in town, but I trusted you to find a very convenient and calm place for us to talk. Ah. Uh, okay, well, the place is farther away from here. No problem, let's go, please. Okay? Okay. So what do you do for a living? Hello? Oh, the food. Mm. Very tasty. I like it. Mm. But I know the food is thirsty, but that wasn't my question. I asked, what do you do for a living? All right, I'm a social media person with over 2 million followers. Oh, mm. interesting. Thank you. You're welcome. So, so what company or product has been your biggest gig? Oh, please. I don't work with any company. I have my fans. They are crazy about my content. They are crazy about me. Take for instance what happened today at the bar. That's what I get whenever I'm out and about. That's what I live for. So how do you make money from that? Oh, please. What lousy money can I possibly get from my hungry fans? I don't need your money. I give them money. In a sense, you have 
no job you earn money from doing. Excuse me, my prince, but I kind of feel insulting here. I mean, what job can I possibly be doing? My father employs people to do all the jobs. Hello? Somebody, somebody. son I've been looking for you all over the place well, uh, is there any particular reason honestly my ears are itching to hear how your date went oh that yes that well uh, it was revealing what does that mean it means that it gave me the opportunity to confirm that she is not the woman for me. How is that man? Okay, let me educate you. No woman is already made. You have to mold her into what you want her to be. I know that, mother. But that is for your generation. What worked for your generation is not obtainable now. That lady in particular, the lady we are talking about has nothing to offer other than shaking her bum on social media. Son, it is called twerking. That is what most girls do these days. Do not crucify her because she's following the trend. No. I agree. Ah. That's how low our society has gone. I equally know that so many people make money on social media by doing stuff like that. But her case is different. Zadima, you are just doing everything possible to run that girl down. Why? I'm trying to know why. That girl is a good girl, though. Eh? Let her take her goodness to another man. She is not the right woman for me. I don't want her. Well, unfortunately, you don't have a choice here. According to tradition, you marry her. But I'm not interested. I don't want to have anything to do with someone that shakes her palm and do not even earn anything for it on social media. Money, please. I was actually on my way to your house. I hope all is well that you are coming to my house. Ah, all is not well, is it, Dibia? Yeah. Is it not only the stupid weather bed who challenges his chi to a fight after he has been fed fight? You have spoken correctly. Hmm. It is the pride of the monkey, not in his knowledge of the three tops. <laughs> And our pride as men lies in our customs and tradition. The unthinkable is about to unfold before us as we speak right now. As I talk to me in a plain language. Ezugo is planning to have a son marry Chip Douglas Onyebuchi's daughter. And if you know originally, when the glorious dice is cast, the prince was betrothed to Sita Demma, Mbizu's daughter. Which you got there? Sita Demma, Mbizu. 
the one that disappeared many years ago. Yes, indeed. Is he back? He isn't. But nobody knows his whereabouts. As you go, he's about to make a very big mistake. A very big, disastrous mistake. Is it a Get if I get me. I see a few fecubi. Eleoba. Anya. Come with me. I'm gonna. 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 I'm Ajana, <laughs> Hm. Ajan, <laughs> Hmm. I Is it I am seeing serious danger. Hmm. Ajana. What is going on? Oku. Hmm. I can walk in your lap one. Is the one that is in your mood? Are you getting mad? What can I let me off, man? Man, you can't handle. Can you get me an apple now? We just want to zoom in more for a passing minute. Bonnie, Ava. Then yeah, look at both of them. They say that Ustademma is still alive, mm -hmm. and so is the betrothed. <laughs> I have never doubted my gods. I knew they are alive. <laughs> but the question is, where are they? Ajan, Naraneji Ubagumbalola, where na kuzinu mata kilini. Ajana pun aku ni mana? Hm? Mana ni aku mula mana? Macam ni bukan nak tua hujung hujung. Hm? Bukan nak tua hujung hujung. Dah. Hm. Eh eh ya. <laughs> they have refused to speak. The gods are angry. The gods are angry with our people because of what they did to us that the mass family. Hmm. How am I 
supposed to know you'll be there with the prince at that time. Clara, you are supposed to. You are my friend. And you know that that lounge is my favorite hangout spot. It is Nana's favorite hangout spot. He asked me to meet him there. So, he, he, he saw me with the prince. What do you care anyway? What do you mean, what do I care? That my boyfriend saw me with another man. You're asking me, what do I care? <laughs> and how is this funny to you? I am surprised it is not funny to you yourself. You have a prince at your beck and call, and yet you are crying over a man you threw away like trash. Oh, please. Girlfriend, this is very hilarious. Stop it. Clara, I did not throw Nana away. I only asked for a space, just a space. <laughs> of course, you're trying to play smart, just in case it doesn't work out between you and the prince. But I am here to remind you that you cannot eat your cake and still have it. Anyway, no point worrying my pretty head. Because things are beginning to look good between the prince and I. Mm -hmm. I am sure that pretty soon, wedding bells will ring. <laughs> That's what you're supposed to be talking about. Mm -hmm. And not crying over one nana guy. You've always had what you desire. I know, right? So, I wish you good luck with this one. Thank you. Thank now, you. don't try this next time because I won't take it. Hey. Hey, <laughs> leave me alone. You just oh. pissed me off. Sorry. So, I have a gist. Leave me, I don't want to hear. If the Oracle wanted us to find him, it would have told us where, or at least, Given us a clue. As you go, the oracle's silence is a punishment on us. Didn't you hear me when I said that? I heard you. I heard you, as you go. I heard you loud and clear. Osita Dima was not ill treated. Igwe, did you say? Osita Dema was not ill-treated. A man whose all his landed assets were taken away from him. Completely everything was taken away from him. When he asked for help, nobody could give him a lending hand. Ibe, what was his crime? A learned commoner. And a struggling man, even you said he was not ill treated. Yes, but all that is not enough to keep my son's life at a standstill. Look at that, consider that also. a hold on your son's marriage arrangements until the oracle says so be well. I take my leave. Greetings, Ezedibe. Is there anything in the matter? Oh, no, nothing. Nothing. I. As a DV, I just came to give me a message. That's all. For the past few days, I hear nothing but arguments from this courtyard. Arguments. People must argue back and forth. Yes. And some of that argument uh, may well be to further the interest of this kingdom. Um, if I may ask further, does this argument 
have anything to do with the marriage arrangements? No, not at all. Very well then. But I've come to to check if you could help me talk to mother. I am not comfortable the way she's going about this marriage thing. She's putting so much pressure on me and I'm, I don't like it. Please help me and talk to her. I want her to stop immediately. Son. Son, I... I don't know how I can do that and uh, I cannot guarantee you that I will be able to stop your mother. Yes. Why not? Um, let's not just go into uh, you know, gymnastics with words. Um, what one does not know is greater than him. I do not understand what you mean by that. Sam, at the end of all this, you, you are the person that will live with a girl. The decision to go ahead or not to go ahead is yours. Are you implying that I have the right to refuse this whole marriage arrangement? The tradition doesn't matter anymore. Ah, uh, no, son. Do not put words in my mouth, please. I didn't come here to get more confused and frustrated. This is what it is. What is it? What is it? I'm talking to you. What do you want? What do you want? What has come over you? Stress and frustration has come over me, mother. Stress and frustration. And I have you to take for that. Really? You are stressed and frustrated because you want to be. What is wrong with allowing someone love you? Mother, huh? please, I'm not cut out for this. What do you want? Okay. I just got off the phone with Ononuchu. And she complained that you have not been taking her calls. Oh, yes. It has to be about Ononuchu. Since I came back from the States, have you called me as your son? Have you talked to me as my mother and asked me how I'm faring or discussed about my personal issues? It's always about on on do this, on on do that. Please stop that already. No, Mother, please stop it. No, I will not stop. I will not stop until you come to terms with the fact that on on is a huge part of your life. What is this? Listen, I am this lenient with you because of the love I have for you. Now I want you to pick up your phone and do the needful. Call her. I don't ever want her to complain about you again. Is that clear? I want millions. I don't know, but... Uh... I suspect her uh, of a fool. That fool? That imbecile? Why is he always interfering in our family affairs? Why? 
This is not exactly a family affair. It concerns the whole kingdom. One mistake can cause a serious calamity that will destroy the entire kingdom. Spare me that. Who decides what calamity befalls the kingdom? It took me so many years to build the relationship we have today with the Onyebuchis. Why are those fools messing everything up for me? Why? If you go ahead with this plan, the entire community will burn. Don't do that. I don't care. No, I don't. Ola. Wives of royal men who later became queens did so because they were chosen not by men, not by us, but by the oracle. It happened in our own case and you know it. You were chosen to be my wife at birth. Why are you lecturing me on something I already know? Because you are trying to alter the course of tradition which you are already familiar with. Spare me that jargon. Ezugo, who made tradition? Man. The same man is capable of changing it when it is no longer useful. I want it to go down in the annals of history that I, Lolo, Oladima changed this one. Zambale, zambale, hai. Zambale, zambale. clubbing this early. Oh yes, I'm clubbing all by myself in my room, doing what I know how to do best. Oh. Shouldn't this call be a distraction then? Oh no, boo. <laughs> Talking about clubbing, why don't you come with me to the club tonight? Like you already know, I get the VVIP pass. Unfortunately, I have a business proposal that I would want to attend to today, so I will pass. What do you need a business proposal for? Well, unlike you that have a wealthy man as a father that doesn't think you should work and earn a living, I have none. So I have to work in order for me to earn a living. That's not true. If you decide to work, that's because you want to work, not because you need to. Come on, honey, listen up. Besides, clubhouses don't buy. Club is fun. And like you know, fun is an essential part of life. Why don't you allow me pass this time? I'll make it up with a lunch tomorrow, okay? I'll test you time and place. Mm, all right. That's good. That's better than nothing. At least I get to see your dreamy eyes again. <laughs> I have to go now. I'll talk to you later, okay? Not a problem. Take care of yourself. I love you. How rude. He didn't even say anything to that. 
whatever. Baby, fire, 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 fire. You get that plenty, fire, fire. When I, when I go. Baby, when I, when I, when I, when I. You get that plenty, fire, fire. When I, when I go. I've been a jumma, a jumma. Um, you see, this particular sin, the script says to get an aerial shot of this particular sin with a drone. The director, I think he's right. He says it's going to be off if we try yeah, to. Yeah, yeah. From what I see here, the director is absolutely right. I agree with the director. Using a drone would not fit the scene. Yeah, but what the director has proposed is it's totally off the table. It's not an option because I wouldn't want to put you in such risk. Yes, but remember, it's the director's film. So what is your alternative? Because as a cinematographer, I can particularly tell you that this scene is important and there is no way we'll take it off. Yeah, that's... Yes, and we can take it off. That's exactly why we're in this week. But, but, compared to what the director has said, I will just choose the drone. No. You see, the drone will not give us the required angle we need for this scene. So, it's not an option. It will not, but it will have to suffice, unfortunately. I mean, it's, it's a pretty long one. I didn't bring you to Nigeria to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> but sweetheart, that is not how I work. Listen, I know it's a bit difficult, but I will have to do what the director suggested. <laughs> you mean you will get on a moving vehicle to film? Mm -hmm. No. Martha, no, I will not. I mean, have you even done that before? No. But I promised you a professional job. And besides, it's going to be like a learning curve to me anyways. So it's fine. Tomorrow we'll shoot that scene. I have to risk it anyways. Are you sure about this matter? Because I'm not. I'm not sure. I mean. But we can give it a try. Listen, sweetheart. I promised you a professional job. And I am not going to let anything spoil that. This is my work, so let me do what I know how to do best, okay? Okay. <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> You're welcome. You're my hero, I said. <laughs> <laughs> but wait, I, we are going to, you know, evaluate the risk before we try it on set. Sure, that's, that's not a problem. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Let me allow you guys to sleep. Tomorrow is going to be a tough day. 9.30 a.m. in the morning. 9.30, short time. You're welcome. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Right. Okay. I am sorry for people. I have some friends visiting in my house, and some late. How are you doing today? Anyway, I brought you some food. I want to come out. What? I want to come out of the discourse and review who I am. With everything that is going on in the palace right now, you can't. Not now. When the time is right, I will be the one to bring you out. I found it difficult to trust you. I came to you on my arrival, thinking that you could be trusted. But not anymore. There's some information you're hiding from me. And now you won't even let me come to your house. Why? Uh, 
you don't need to be upset. I am simply protecting you, and you know it. Protecting me? What is going on in Chia Farm? Huh? And I noticed there is a young man who newly arrived at the palace. Who is he? Obika, listen. The less you know, the better for you. We had a plan, and we are going to follow it through. Can you still trust me? When the time is right, you will definitely come out and take your rightful place. But that time isn't now. Do not betray me, Ichi Afa. Do not betray me. I have been through a lot to see myself at this point. And I will not be happy to find out that you betrayed me. I made you a promise. And I am keeping it till the end. I'm much of a way go. I kill up, I kill up, I kill up, I kill up, I kill up. Much of a way go. I'm much of a way go. Sport. Please call me when you get this, okay? I'm not 
actually called so we can discuss about our children's marriage arrangement. Well, every other thing is on course. There's just a little problem that has to be taken care of. Why am I not surprised? What could the problem be? Hi, Tracy. No, 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 no. No. I can't make it. I'm still knocked out from last night. Yes. Besides, I have a date with the prince. Yes, I have a date with him by... Oh my goodness, let me call you back. Let me call you back, please. Seven missed calls from the breeze. Who are those gullible elders? What makes them think they have a say in this matter? Do they actually know who is involved? But you don't have to blame them. What do they know? Where have they been to? All of them have been confined in this kingdom. And that is how low their mentality is. Every one of them is talking about tradition. What nonsense tradition. Lolo, I think you've not done your homework well. You see those men, they will choose money over their useless traditional beliefs at any point. You don't want to know. I have thrown some millions out there. I am not talking about money for snuff or palm wine. I'm talking about good money. Look, I would not allow them mess with our children's happiness and future. And for that reason, first thing tomorrow morning, I will credit your account with five million naira. Oh, that's nice. Thank you. Thank you so much. That money will go a long, long way. All right. Um, I'll call you back. Hey, Mom. What is going on? I... The prince has been waiting for me in the restaurant, so... And, I mean, I was hungover from last night. I, I, I didn't take his call. Now, I've been trying to call him back and he's not taking my... I guess he's upset. <laughs> so, what are you up to now? I'm going to the restaurant to meet him. Okay. No, I... I doubt if he will still be there, since he's not taking your calls. Okay, yes, just calm down, okay? Relax. Let me call Lolo. I believe she can talk to him, then he will listen. Okay? Mom, are you sure about this? Trust me on this. Okay. Let me go. Let me go back to sleep. I'll see you. Okay, thanks, Mom. All right. Taking her groups. Excuse me. 
You should take her calls and hear her own side of the story. She's sorry for standing you up. Obviously. She is. She had a very bad hangover from her clubbing last night and then she slept all through morning into late afternoon. Mother, look at how comfortable you are telling me that the woman you want your son to get married to had a hangover from clubbing. Come on, it can happen to anyone. No. It can't happen to the woman that I will call my wife. Come on, son. There is nothing wrong with clubbing. I agree with you. There is nothing wrong with clubbing. But this lady in particular clubs for a living. Oh yes, that's what she does. Drinking, dancing, and taking pictures for the ground. How do you want me to end with that? Hold on a minute. Let us get something straight here. Why are you mad? Are you mad because she stood you up? Or because of the kind of lifestyle she has chosen for herself? Or are you just being judgmental here? Mother, I am mad because you of all people seem not to understand me, seem not to see that I, your son, deserves better. My son deserves better than the daughter of a billionaire? Is that what you're saying? You think I'm stupid? I know what I am doing. I have everything worked out. This is one family that will stand solidly behind you when you eventually become king. Cut off that you're short-sighted. I should be able to find happiness first before talking about money. <laughs> money is nothing to me. All I need is happiness. And with that girl, Mom, I will know no happiness because our lifestyles are totally different. Zodima, so I am sorry for you. I am really, really sorry for you. Because your myopic mind has messed up your life. But you should thank your stars that you have a mother like me who is here to guide you. Listen, just pick up your phone, call her, and accept her apology. Mother, I do not need her apologies. I think it's high time I went back to the States. If that is all that I need to gain my happiness, my peace, and my sanity. You dare not to Zodem man. Don't dare me. I better be in my room. I'm sorry. Zambale, Zambale, hi. Zambale, Zambale, hi. Zambale, Zambale, hi. Zambale, Zambale. Troubled? Now, son. I'm just admiring the wonderful gift of nature. Isn't it beautiful? Father, I'm not a child. Do you remember? I've watched your moods fluctuate these past few weeks. I tried to connect with you 
as your son, but you kept on dismissing me. What is going on? Father, I ask, what is going on? If there is anything you're contending with, I think I am in the right position to know about it. Hmm. Sam, listen, as your father, there is absolutely nothing to worry about. Nothing is happening. Okay? Okay, good. So, are you bonding with uh, Mamuju? There wasn't any bond. I tried spending time with her, but it didn't work out. I can't see myself falling in love with her, let alone marrying her. But then, tradition is always thrown at my face. See, one thing our heart doesn't tell us is that love is about feeling. Mm -hmm. Love is sometimes like commitment. Father, why do I have this feeling that there is more to this marriage arrangement than fulfilling the tradition? With the way mom is going about it, I think she's more interested in need for her own gains than fulfilling the traditions. Is that it? Son, these are your thoughts will do none of us any good, okay? My queen, uh, what is this money for? It is for you. Mm -hmm. For me? Calm down. What? I know you have never seen such amount of money in your life. Yes. But I have come to turn your life around. But you need to do something for me. Whatever you want, Lola. I catch you will do it. I promise I will do it. Okay. Okay. I want you to support my son to marry Douglas Obuchi's daughter. Hey. Uh, no, no. There is no problem about that. I can give you my support. You and I know what the tradition says. <laughs> we are not talking about the tradition here. We are talking about money. Yes, money. Money, yeah. So, make your choice. Are you doing what I'm asking you to do or should I go with my money? My queen, I'm in a very delicate situation right now. Mm. I don't even know what to do. But I will gladly give you my support. I will support you and take the money. Hold on, yeah. hold on, cool down. You have to make your choice. You can't stand on both sides. Are you supporting me? Yes. Actually, or not? Actually, I, 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 I know what to do to balance both equations. So that I will be on both sides. Eh? Take your choice. Are you for me? The money. Or against me? No, for you. The money. I will give you my support. I, I will give you my support. Look, give me the money. You don't mess me. You don't try to mess me. No, no. If you do, you will not like what I'll do to you. The money. The money, you have my support. Did you hear what I said? Yes, no, no, give me this money. Hang on. Allow me to give it to you myself. Okay. Want to snatch it? No. You will do it? Yes, I will. You have my support. You will do it? I will do it. Are you sure? I promise. If you try to mess me up, I'll mess you. I will mess you, bro. Give me the money. Hold on. Let me hand it over to you. Hey. Thank you. Remember, you already have my support like June 12. I will give it to you. Hi. 
I brought you this gift, Ichiya Famifu. I brought you a gift. One million naira. All for you. I am trying very hard to understand the kind of service I've rendered to you to have deserved such a thing. Let's just say it's a token from me to you for your support. What kind of support are you talking about? You want me to say things the way they are? Lolo, as far as I know, I have not done any work for you. Please take your money. Maybe you are mistaking me for someone else. If those fools who call themselves elders in council have sold their dignity for pieces of crumbs, I will not. You and I know that you have never seen such amount of money in one day. Why are you calling it pieces of crumbs? All I'm saying is that this money here is too small for an Ichi like me to go against the tradition. I see. Now I understand. I'll double it. You either don't get it, lol. You don't. Are you trying to test my patience? I will not support you to have the prince marry the wrong woman. I will not. That is my stand. Uh, Lolo, let me ask you. There are two types of people in life. Those who ate their lives and do something about it. And those who ate their lives and do nothing about it. Which type are you? Even if the king comes to me with such nonsense you have come to me with, I will do the same. The fear of death follows the fear of life. A man who lives fully is prepared to die at any time. That is it. Take my leave. He just walked out and it went. You will regret this. Trust me. <laughs> my, my prince, what are you doing? Nobody talks to a madman. Perhaps you're real youth, you're not supposed to be seen with him. Let me have the food. My prince, don't tell me he's the one you asked for the food for. I said let me have the food. But my prince, can we at least empty the food into a bag or something else? You can't give me food in, in this dish. Oh, 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 come back, okay? Come back. I mean no harm. This is for you. Oh, yes. I am sure this will take you through today. <laughs> the one person I didn't assume would join in pushing this madness. 
You heard what Ezedibia said. Yet, you want us to go ahead with this plan. You confuse me, Your Majesty. Are you for or against the marriage? What's that supposed to mean? I mean, what kind of question is that? And you expect me to answer it? You know there will be dire consequences if tradition is bypassed. But tradition has been bypassed over time. And people go unpunished. This will not be an exception. No, what's that supposed to mean? seen his face when I hit him with that piece of classified information. He never uttered a word until I left his presence. <laughs> Good job, Yagazir. Good job. Exactly the effects I hoped for. Good job. Thank you. And um, what about our family, Funa? How did it go with him? Lord. That is one hard nut to crack. He almost set me on fire when he asked me to get out of his house. So bad for him then. Just like the stubborn fly. He will end badly. Well, Lolo, I will leave him to you. But going back to the king, was he actually responsible? He had a hand in Ulysses' death. Um, Yagaze, that is as much as I want you to know. Just forget the details, okay? Forget it. Well, I know Igwe will not do such a thing. But what baffles me is why we, you will use such an information against him. And why he reacted the way he did. Well, I think this meeting is over. I'll leave now. What was that? My driver almost knocked you down, you know. Lola, I have a message for you from the God. And did they tell you to die in the process? Lola. Oh, please. If the message you're here to deliver is that important, then go straight to the point and stop your useless adages. The oracle speaks with a fat. The order lingers. After the word must have been spoken, Lolo desists. Desists. Lolo desists. Mupi Panaka and Manofa to draw a lack of money. Take me out of here. 
Allah has it come to this. Has it come to the point where you go about bribing important members of, of the council? And how did you get that information? Honestly, you have to stop. Right now, the prince is even beginning to ask questions. Really? If he is asking questions, that means he has realized that you are a chameleon. Is that what you think? That is what I know. And that is what it is. Please. I have more serious things to think about. I don't have time for this. Well, now stop it. Will you stop moving me about like a pawn in a game of chess? Just stop it. Father. Mother. Is there any problem? No, 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 not at all. Your father and I are having a hard to hard talk. Oh. Something is definitely going wrong between the two of them. Zumbele, zumbele, 